Hi, my name is Joseph Fulamon, and I'm from Cape Town, South Africa. I don't really open up much on social media. It's just like none of the extra shit on the internet. You know, maybe if I'm comfortable enough with you in person, I'll open up more, just like everybody else. You know, that's why music is such a therapeutic method for me to be a little more relatable understand because in there there's a lot more just in general there's a less talk and way more action you know but in the music how I try to be relatable is to tell you about the hustle whatever I'm going through whatever I'm doing um, the scars along the way Nelson Mandela right and um, the relationships I've been in, you know, with whoever, maybe current or like a blast from the past that I haven't mentioned yet. Thank you. Okay. Uh, just a few practical questions. I don't know a bit who you are and uh, what your story is with modeling and so on. Yeah. So can you tell me when you did start modeling, what you've done, and if you work in different markets, and different countries and so on, and what are your goals, right. what are your objectives? Okay, so I started in high school, in the ninth grade. Right. I started at my first ever commercial was identity for the clothing brand over here. And then ever since then, I've done Fashion Week. I've done Fashion Week last oh, year, December. And in terms of commercials, I did Bon Aqua, Water, did Sprite, I've done Mercedes Benz, I've done a couple, a lot of good stuff. Yeah, those are the ones that spring on the top of my head right now. Okay. Oh, Heineken, Flying Fish. My goals with it, I really want to travel overseas. Mm -hmm. So I asked them if you could please put my name through and hopefully I would have an interesting look for overseas. You know, really determined, just interested in it, mm -hmm. and I can't wait. I'm not overthinking none of it. Like, I'm not overthinking the music, I'm not overthinking the genre, because it's a newborn. Right? There's a piano right now, you know? And um, I just go based off what moves me, and hip hop, Afrobeat move me, you know? I'm not even overthinking like the support that the supporters may actually support once I drop the music, you understand? I'm not overthinking that either. Because at the end of the day, it's still therapeutic for me, nonetheless. This whole time, I have been on my ace, on my ones. It's me and God, I guess. I've been on my ace this entire time, so like no manager or anything like that. Um, it was crazy, actually I just came from Johannesburg, right? And I bumped into Show Tibbs Love. Show Tibbs Love, yeah. He doesn't go by that anymore, but I bumped into Show Tibbs Love. For those who know, know. And then I told him who he is. I was like, yo, you Show Tibbs Love. He's just like, yo, you don't say. And I pulled out my phone and went on Instagram, followed him. And then, I mean, it was, it was cool and everything. Two hours later, he texts me, DMs me. He didn't follow back, he just DMs, straight DM. He's like, yo, okay, cool, we should arrange something. So I'm like, okay, bet. We should arrange something because he's gonna take a flight to Durban. He's gonna go to Durban real quick. He goes to Durban. Two days later, I found out that he passed alongside Super Mega, alongside um, AKA. I was like, nah, it can't be. Nah, it can't be. But, but it be, you know, it was be. <laughs> we go. All my shit stamps, absolutely no I'm official. Fish. As soon as we get the lumps, I'll flip yeah. the real like it's original. I don't even know how to spell room. None of my shit is sufficient. I couldn't even tell you how we got it. Plenty of situations. Plenty. You're gonna have to start talking figures. You wanna get it? Get it. We touch the road, we touch some shows, but that's just the basics. We go online, take your shit. Yeah. Now we plotting acres. Acres. K-Town's like 
aim at us. You yeah. already know you have to face it. Yeah. Walking. Also, like doing music, singing, or composing. I'm doing hip hop and I'm doing Afrobeat. So that's the music I do. I've been really consistent with it now for the past seven months. So that's why I'm shooting a documentary and stuff like that. I have music videos out. Some have touched TV, MTV base. But then I also have passion for for this world, right mm. here, runways, and just being in front of the camera. Mm. That's my homie right here. You good? Yeah, each other. Come to the camera. How do we meet, bro? Tell us something about Joseph Philemon. Also, I met Ranbad last year. Uh, actually, not too far from here in British. He was walking for one of my favorite brands, one of the brands at the, the SA Men's Fashion Week. I think I ran into him at the after party. I'm not too sure the exact whereabouts, but ever since we touched base, and we didn't even really like touch base like that. I think more than anything, the energies were always, you know, symmetrical in some way, you know. Same, same, but, but different at the same time. So ever since then, that was about around about last year, September, October. But since then, we've been keeping in regular contact. He's like a, a bit of an OG to me. He's not old and you probably hate that I'm making him sound old, but he's a bit of an OG to me. I think what stands out about him or our relationship or what he means to me is just the enormous amount of love he's always showed me. Especially when, if you look at it from my perspective, I didn't think there was necessarily too much for him to gain or anything that he was necessarily getting out of knowing me or like messing with me or just like, you know, showing me random bits of love. But he did it, you know, he pushes me in his own way to be the best version of myself, always handing me opportunities. I think more than anything, what I like the most about him is once again, how genuine his love is. We all have insecurities, all that type of thing. So I think like the confidence that he exudes on me, the the constant exchange of energies is what I like the most about him. Every time I see him, it's always the same. Even when we're far apart, like he recently was in another city, but we still would keep in touch, you know what I mean? Just when I was thinking more or less about him. So I just pray every day for his success, vice versa. And I appreciate the supporters who were still supporting me from like back then, you know, when I used to have like bright uh, pink, red hair, releasing music, dropping music like twice a month. I mean, twice a year, you know. If I jumped off a building, those supporters would probably jump off with me. I don't have much to say at this moment, but I just wanted to say that there will be more music coming soon, more videos coming soon, and alhamdulillah. Okay, 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 okay. Face time with my brother, I'm showing them racks Day after day, he knows I don't lie Get straight to it, you know I don't slide It is what it is, I put it on wax No so Mandela, I put it on wax Niggas was supposed to be put in my pack She tried to let me look at the news she want We had a face and two hot in the dark Shorty at us, shorty at us Her own hurt for variety of us If you ain't good, you leave it apart I'm winning this shit, I'm making it loud In first place, 